Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are here for night two and the final night of the Australian Speed Car Championship. It was a pretty upsetting night last night. We um, unfortunately didn't make it out for the feature race. The, I felt like the car had a like engine troubles in the second heat. It felt like it was locking up, like the engine was seizing and then freeing itself. Um, so we spent the morning in the shed, got up early, put our asses into gear and uh, got to work on the car. And um, we think we found the problem we checked over the motor, couldn't find anything wrong with the engine, but while we were doing the regular maintenance, we found the scroll, which is for the fuel, which controls your fuel rate through your accelerator to the motor. Once we went to do the maintenance on that, it completely fell apart and uh, the rose joint was in the wrong position. So we fixed that this morning, we're pretty sure. Hopefully that's the problem. So what was actually happening was when I was coming into the corner, getting off the gas, it was shutting the whole fuel supply off to the motor. So the engine was starving for fuel, acting like it was locking up. And then when I got back on the gas, obviously the fuel was going straight back into the engine and it was acting like it was freeing itself. So we did drop a heat race, which is unfortunate, but you know, I'd rather drop a heat race where I'm gonna finish fourth place instead of costing me an engine. So uh, it does suck because we're sitting 28th on points now. So we've got two heats tonight and obviously our 40 lap feature. So I think I'm starting second for the first heat and then I'm ninth or something like that. I'm down the back for the second heat. So we've got a front row and a back row. So is isn't too bad. Hopefully the car performs. Hopefully we got it all fixed. And if we do, hopefully we can, yeah, lock it straight into the show. If not, we'll be coming out the B-Main so all in all i just really hope the car performs and i uh, hope that everything's fixed on it and actually we can finish a race so yeah a lot of teething issues that we're having but you know this is racing and these things happen so I'm, I'm happy that it was just something simple and something stupid and it wasn't too serious so yeah it's got to wait and see and yeah hopefully some luck can come our way and just gotta yeah keep our nose clean and be there at the end I think the issue that we had from last night and Wednesday night is officially gone. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with where we're sitting. The car felt good. The track's still a little bit greasy. I think it's gonna go slick tonight, obviously, because we have sprint cars on tonight. So it started to look like it's gonna go slick. So the track's starting to go away, but yeah, I'm really happy with how the car sat on the track and it's starting to pull more. It's starting to feel more comfortable and it feels faster. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with where we're at at this point in time. So we have our first heat coming up soon. I'm starting out of two for that one. So hopefully we can basically hold position. I don't really want to drop any positions, but as long as we can finish the, the heat race, and then I think we start off the back for the second heat. So as long as we finish both my heat races, even if I'm out of the B, hopefully we can come out of the B and just get into the A. I would like to try to transfer into the A, but um, yeah, obviously since that we DNF last night and didn't start the feature last night, that's really affected our points. I think we're sitting 28 on points, so yeah, that's really affected us. But you know, uh, I think if I just finish both my heat races and hopefully with some luck I can direct transfer, that would be pretty cool. But if not, I'll come out of the B and hopefully make it into the A. So we're just gonna have to wait and see. So we are about to get going here and looking forward to 
what is ahead of us tonight the 82nd Australian Speed Car Championship Number seven, eight laps is the journey, and it is claw to the floor, and it is Daniel Harding that jumps out to our race lead for the moment as they head around and down that back straight. Now, there's Alfie Guadagnino. He looks like he's moved through up there into, into third place right now as they come into the main straight. They're chopping and changing back in the field. You can see Tommy Payet is about mid-pack for the moment, but uh, meantime, our race leader is absolutely shot clear right now. Harding from Doyle, then Guadagnino. Nino. He's uh, leading up Tommy Payer. Big slide job by Payet. So he moves through into third on Guadagnino who fights back here in the main straight. There's one that spun and back in the field we are going to have to have a stoppage. But Kerno is the car. He's fourth overall and Caden Manders is the second top point scorer. He'll be out very soon. Here we go with six laps to go. Into the main straight we come, greens are back on, around the cone, and it's Harning from Doyle from Payette and then Gordon Nino as Payette goes underneath of Doyle, Doyle's able to swing around the outside, so run down the back straight, that's the lead three cars and Payette again swings underneath and moves into second place. He's out after Daniel Harding as they move down the main straight with three down and five to go. It's Harding in front at the moment from Payet, then Doyle. Gordon Eno in fourth place as they run down the Triple M back straight. They'll come up to the halfway mark and Daniel Harding is out in front. He leads by 0.6 of a second. Yes, and I must say that Tommy Payet, the way that he's got that car set up, he picks up some space when it goes around the turns in the main straight. He loses a little bit of ground, but then he regains it here with the slide jobs as he gets in motion and comes up and I reckon he's got a little bit closer again as they come into the main straight. It was 0.68, it's 0.61 so it's only a moment more but it is moments that count as down the back straight we go. We're on lap number six of eight in this heat. It's heat number seven of the 82nd Australian Speed Car Championship. They've got two laps to go. Harding from Payet, Doyle and Guadagnino. So 0.7 is the margin. Is he close enough to put one of those massive sliders on? Probably not, you'd think, as they move out of turn three and four. The white lights come on. Daniel Harding leads for home in heat number seven of the Australian Championship. Payet is second, Doyle is third, and Alfie Guadagnino fourth. They run down the back straight. He looks super good behind the steering wheel. And Daniel Harding's about to win again. Come on, Western Australia, make some noise. Daniel Harding first across the line in heat number seven. Harding first, Payet second. Back to Bo Doyle in third, then Alfie Guadagnino is next. Fifth will be Aaron Sharp, six is going to go to Matt Jackson, then Joel Watson, Zoe Pierce, Lee Austin and Bart Kernow, the winning margin. Well, it's heat one, run and done. Really happy with how we were going. We were sitting second there for a while and um, we had a restart as the car spun out in turns three and four and that just really pulled us back in. I think we pulled a bit of a gap on third, but yeah, after that restart, obviously we all bunched back up and yeah, from there, it was just a bit harder to keep second, but we finished third. So we only dropped one position, which is pretty good. We still finished up the front. Car was fast, car was really, really fast. We had some great speed. So yeah, we start ninth in the second heat now, I think. And yeah, from here, just obviously off the back, we can move forwards. So hopefully we can move forwards in the second heat and see where the points land us after the second heat and see where we start from. The 82nd Australian Sprint Car, sorry, Speed Car Championship. And this is heat number 10. For those that are joining us on Clay Purview around the world as uh, we get underway, off to a fast start was Payet, but Avedisian does a slide job on turn number two and doesn't quite get the lead. Payet takes back over control. Avedisian on the tailpipe. They come out of turn number four now into the main straight. Good start by both leading contenders. Payet a 16.82. Avedisian now 17.05. Manders is third. Jake Robinson is fourth. Oh, almost coming into contact with Caden Manders. Robinson goes round and stops and brings the race to a grinding halt. Wow. Eight laps for heat number 10 of the Mobile One Australian Speed Car title. As we're getting closer to our feature race over 40 laps, Payette out nice, high, wide and handsome. Again, Avenizian, but uh, Payette shuts the gate. Here comes Caden Manders. Caden Manders not far away. And uh, Nord 2 now is Caden Brown. What a race we've got out in front. Oh, 
well done Abedizian, gets the gap between Manders who looked like he was going through, he's going to try it again, Payet still out in front as they go through two laps, two and a half now. So move down the back straight, Abedizian back to second place, Manders back to third, Manders sweeps underneath of Abedizian, Abedizian sweeps back underneath of Manders side by side, down into turn one, Manders gets into second place, Abedizian back to third, so run down the back straight once again, Tom Payet has split the scene. Here comes Caden Brown. Three of them locked together for second, third and fourth as they move down the main straight of the halfway mark. Brilliant racing as they go through. I was looking at the orange light. There's an orange light down there uh, in an area which uh, shouldn't be there. Uh, so they'll come here into the main straight. Tommy Pay at 16.305. He's uh, got well clear. Five laps down. Manders, Abadizia, Brown, Sharp. They're your top five as they go round the top bend down the back straight now. Lap number six. Lap number six of eight. And uh, Tommy Pay in total control in second and third. There's the on the screen right now. Manders, Abadizia, and Kane Brown not too far behind. So move down the main straight, Tom Payette, your race leader. He's got this one shot to bits. So he runs down the back straight. He's just got a lap and a bit to go. The white lights come on. Second place, Banders, then back to Abedizian. Fourth is Brown, back then to Bodoil, having a, channel, a challenge with Aaron Sharp. And then further back to Cordonino, Robinson and Kernow. The white lights are gone. We're on the lucky last. Down the back straight, the final time. Come on, Perth, put your hands together. Tom Payette wins heat number 10. Tom Payette first across the line, Manda's second, Abedizian is next, and then Caden Brown, oh, contact between Sharp and Doyle, they got out of it, and almost a dead heat, Sharp gets there from Doyle, then Guadagnino, Robinson, and Kernow, that was very close for fifth place, the margin was 0.04 of a second as they crossed. Hey, race number two was done and dusted. We uh, started off the rear of the field for that one and we actually came through and I think we finished sixth. So we're on for fifth, but got uh, a slider thrown on me coming into the last corner on the last lap and tried to pull it up and drop the nose to go back underneath, but had no brakes. And yeah, unfortunately he got past me for fifth. And yeah, it was a little, it's unfortunate, but you know, we finished, we finished both races. So we're starting third in the B main. So hopefully we can move forwards and lock it into the A. And as long as we can finish and lock it into the A, I'm happy. We'll, all I want is to get into the A main, so yeah, as long as we can do that, it'll be a good night. Yeah, Does he, he want to be the reserve? He might be foxy. Hey, what? I don't know. Hey? Just try to find a silver. Here he comes. Last chance qualifier for the Australian speed car title. Jig, tell you what. Um, Gary Mann oh, he's just pretty noise. much stopped. Pretty much stopped. Did not fire off the front. The rest of them all got going all fine. Uh oh. Yellow lights are on. Yellow line lines and have a shot being the Australian speed car champion. What positions will they be in? That's the question. That's better from Gary Mann. Hit the pedal that goes loud. Gets away okay. Bo Doyle right behind. Should say Bo Doyle not a slouch at all. Has got a third place this season. Third in Albany back in November and Bo Doyle currently has the lead. So at the end of the first lap, Doyle leads from Gary Mann, from Jake Robinson, Matt Jackson, Corey Smith and Stuart Yates make up the six that are out there right now. Reminder that all these six, should they get through cleanly, will make it through to our feature. This is positions that we are looking for right now with six laps remaining. So Bo Doyle is getting quicker. 16.80 the last time round and uh, he's a, a a lot faster than anybody else in the race right now. 17.5, the next quickest lap in the race by Gary Mann, then Robinson, Jackson, Smith and Yates. But right now, Bo Doyle going to start out of position 21. Mann, Robinson, Jackson there. The challenge as Mann is passed by Jake Robinson. Yes, Robinson, of course, uh, he had an incident earlier, which has seen him now have to contest this. They chop and change back there for second and third place in this particular race right now for positions 22 and 23 in the feature race. Yeah, first to second, already two and a half seconds, four laps down, four to go. Robinson, Mann and Jackson having a little bit of a party in second, third and fourth right now. Trading blows a man and Robinson. Robinson gets himself back in the second. They come out of mobile one, turn number four. It is Doyle whose lead is now 3.5 seconds. He went a second faster than Jake Robinson. It is the length of the back straight, the gap 
between first and second right now, but the gap between third and fourth is pretty much non-negotiable. Uh, or NA if you want. It is Man and Jackson pretty much side by side. Well, let's there, forget about Doyle. The race is right here on your big screen and you can see those four cars. They're sorting themselves out a bit now. Jake Robertson might have got the advantage. This is lap number seven. Those three there, they at the moment are racing for positions 23, 24 and 25. And there is a blanket that you can throw over them. There's probably only about 15 to 20 metres maximum separating all four cars. There's your race leader. Out of turn number four, down to take the chicken flag. Back behind, though, a long way behind, is Jake Robinson. Eventually broke clear of the three that were fighting. And it's Robinson, Mann, Jackson and Smith in that order. And then Stuart Yates will be the final car to qualify for the field. And Bart Kerno, who had to take the car infield, will be the reserve for the 40-lap feature race for the Mobile One Australian Speed Car. So we just finished the B main, ended up starting third and actually coming through to win that one by like five seconds I think so car felt like it was on rails it was really really quick we're really happy with how we're going we transferred into the A main I don't know where we're starting I think we're starting like 20 20th maybe or like 24th or something like that so we're really far down the back but you know 40 laps is a long way all we can do is yeah just try and move forwards and hopefully be there at the end and yeah one more chance here in the main straight make plenty of noise as they come around this time here this time with the fireworks. Here at the Perth Motorplex, the 82nd running of the Mobile One Australian Speed Car Championship. And have a look at that for a display. We say it time and time again, no one does it like the Perth Motorplex. About to get this race, Jason Crow, underway. We've got two West Australians on the front row, Harding and Manders. We are green in the Australian title, and it is the 71 who leads them down the main straight. Harding and Manders go hammer and tong in the first lap, and there's another car coming through as well, and that's Payette as they move down into turn number three. Harding, Manders, Payette, three across the track. Here comes the first, the force in Alex Bright, and also right there is Justin Grant as they move down into turn one and two for the second time. But it is a West Australian who leads at the moment. And there's a wall of cars, as you can see, as they come out of turn three and four into the main straight to complete lap number two. It is Tom Payette, the West Australian, who leads. So Butter's off to a ripping start so far. Michael Pickens has made a bit of a flyer as well. He's gone from, what, about eighth position and he's up to second right now in the NZ4. Flying behind him, Daniel Harding, and then it's Alex Bright. There you top four. Caden Manders unfortunately all the way back in sixth position. So it's Payette who leads. Michael Pickens is trying to charge him down. On the inside is Alex Bright. Then a length or a few lengths back then to Daniel Harding. Remember a 40 lap feature we have. We've gone through four laps. And right now it is a really good race up front. So you can see the man out in front and he's doing it very nicely as Tommy Payette, Michael Pickens as the boys have said got a good start. Alex Bright not too far away just feeling his way, Daniel Harding. Bit of a break back then. We go to Grant and on his tailpipe is the 71 car of Caden Manders. Uh, Avedisian's dropped back a couple of spots, so there's uh, about seven or eight cars that have gone past her right now, but out of turn, number four into the main straight and it's Tommy Payette just leading for Michael Pickens and Alex Bright is the quickest of the race. 34 laps to go. It is Payette, your race leader from Pickens, Bright and Justin Grant, and then in fifth place is Daniel Harding now they're going to come up on lap traffic in a couple of laps time. They're running down low on the racetrack at the moment. It's Payette in front by four car lengths. Back to Michael Pickens. And then the second of the four cars is Alex Bright. Justin Grant in fourth place as the second place car. And Michael Pickens had the wheels up over the kerb. And he's lost a bit of ground. Bright right there with him. So they come into the main straight. We complete lap number eight. 32 to go. And here's the lap traffic. And Bandits. we've lost one. Harding is For gone. Harding. Yeah. Harding is gone. And what drama we've had in this race. Logan Seavey at the beginning and pace car goes infield. Seven down, 33 remaining. Pickens, Bright and Grant. Three of the world's best behind Tom Payette. 
racing in the Australian Championship once again. Into the main straight they come around the cone. They all safely negotiate that and they get around turn one and two. They're all running down low on the racetrack in the early stages of this one. Down the back straight, Payette has skipped away. Leads by five car lengths. Back to Pickens and Bright as they come into the main straight. The first one to go upstairs is the 71 car of Caden Manders. Yeah, and of course, keep in mind that he had a bit of a chat with Callum Williamson post to the sprint car feature we had a little bit earlier on, trying to get oh, some ideas of what's oh, going on. Just about. As Daniel Harding, is it? Yep. Yeah, it's gone and hit the he's fence, out. and he is out of the race. Absolute horror for Daniel Harding, who also has had an amazing weekend, and it has come up short. So it's Tom Payette, who's your race leader, out by about a second, maybe three quarters of a second right now on Michael Pickens. Justin Grant's been flying through the field, and Alex Bright fourth. So we are 10 laps in of a 40 lap feature race. Tommy Payette, Michael Piggins. Then we go back to Justin Grant. Can he be the surprise packet that tits up and reigns supreme and flies the flag for the United States? At the moment, we've got an Australian, a Kiwi, an American, leading Alex Bright also from the US of A. Then Caden Manders, who patiently is waiting and driving right now. We know that he's got a very strong car as they come out of turn number four, 12 laps down. And no change out in front except for the margin first to second and third is minuscule. There's only a couple of car lengths in it. Payette just in front. Pickens in second place and Grant third. He's off the curb. Pickens nearly got through on that occasion. So Payette leads. They're coming up on lap traffic. 13 down and 27 to go. And here comes Grant. Grant goes underneath the Pickens into second place and he's out after Payette. They come out of mobile one. Another lap put together. Tom Payette still out in front. Amazing that Michael Pickens 500 metres ago was just side by side with our race leader. Now he's a just about seven tenths of a second away from the leader and has a car in between him. So it's Payette who leads from Justin Grant, who did okay during the pole shuffle, managed to get himself a win or two, and crying up against the curb there oh, was Tom Payette, but he's been able to get a gap between him and Grant, oh. but now he's coming up on the inside of four slow cars, so lap tracking is always going to be a touchy one. This is going to be really tiptoey now. And Grant coming up on the inside of Payette, the slower car there, just impeding the American once again as they get going once into turn number three out of turn three. Uh, smoke starting to fly from one of the cars back in the middle of the field as another one succumbs. It is still at the moment Tommy Payette. He's only just in front. Grant gets tied up a little bit again. It's amazing how low this racetrack is as we have another car. It looks like Jade Evadizian has gone back another spot and another one here in the main straight on turn number four has gone infield as uh, we go through for another lap complete but Tommy Payette still leads. There's a lot of hands on head downstairs and in here as well it is almighty close the Australian title is going to the wire at the moment. Caden Manders is coming up on the outside that's for third and fourth and he might wind up and he does he gets around Michael Pickens here comes Caden Manders he's decided the top step is the way to go meanwhile back at the ranch it is Tom Payette just in front as they come out of turn number four. We've got to the halfway mark. Payette leads in second place. It's Justin Grant as we've gone yellow. We're about to go back under green conditions. Lights are green. Payette leads. Grant just in second place. Then the pair of fours in third and fourth place. So run down into turn one and two. Pickens is there and then Alex Bright. Back in fifth place after that is Jade Avedisian. They're all out after Tom Payette though. We come to the halfway mark and the West Australian's still in front. Meanwhile the two four cars are side by side. That being Pickens and Avedisian. Bright. But it's Payette who leads. Avedisian's right on the tail there of Alex Bright. Here comes Justin Grant right up to the backside there of Tom Payette. Has to just pull back a little bit but now looking for somewhere to go. Will he go the inside, the outside? He tries to go the inside and here comes the four car of Michael Pickens getting involved too. There is your top three only separated by about five car lengths between the three of them and now Alex Bright's also getting back involved. An amazing feature, the Australian Sprint Speed Car title. Well,
Venetians washed off a bit of speed. Caden Brown's not going away. And in behind is Nicholas Rowe. And I can tell you that Keenan Fleming is also coming into this race. And they're not too far behind right now. There's only a second uh, and a half, I reckon, between the top seven cars. It is Payette holding off Grant. They are at the moment. Uh, Grant's almost pushing Payette, but he just can't get away through. Payette's still driving the race of his life right now as they come out of turn number four into the main straight to complete another lap. Another lap is down. So 24 down and 16 to go and the longer Tom Payette leads, the more the nerves in here and the, in the crowd are getting bigger and bigger because we could be seeing a West Australian as a new Australian champion, but he's got 15 laps to negotiate and he's got Justin Grant all over him. Down into TD, Granny Flats and Modular Holmes turn. Payette just in front. Grant nearly wound up for one. We've got a car stranded down here. The yellow lights have come on. It's one of the Watson cars and we go yellow. Here we go, 15 laps remaining. Payette from Grant, from Bright, from Pickens, from Avedesian. We're green again. Tom comes around the cone. Around we go. And Payette leads. There's a big move from Caden Brown. He's gone around the outside of a couple of them. All of a sudden, all hell's broken loose. And Payette's lost the lead. He's lost second place. He's lost third place. Oh, and Tom's going to be out, I'd suggest. Out of turn number four. Justin Grant now leads as Tom Payette's got a flat tyre. Oh, no. It's horrible luck for Tom Payette. All these lead drivers have had rotten luck during this feature race tonight, but it's the American who holds the lead, and that American is Justin Grant. He leads at the moment from Alex Bright, from Jade Avenizian, who's gotten up to third past Michael Pickens, and Caden Brown is still on a bit of a charge. Robert Hurd at the moment finds himself in uh, fifth position with Caden Brown. They go side by side down the back straight, but your leader is Justin Grant from Alex Bright and Jade Avenizian. Well, Jade Avenizian is all over the second place. Alex Bright, and it could be a Grand Avenizian 1-2 here right now. And not too far out of it is Michael Pickens, but it is skipping away with the race lead. This man out in front. He's doing it nicely. Justin Grant, Alex Bright for the moment, still holding off Jade Avenizian. Close enough, if good enough, Michael Pickens. He's driven a ripping race. And then we go back to Caden Brown, Nicholas Rowe, and Robert Hurd. They round out your top half down. But the front uh, four have really gotten away from the rest. They have Justin Grant leads with 10 to go. He's out by two seconds. Back in second is Alex Bright, then Jade Avedisian. And in fourth place is Michael Pickens. A gap back to the rest of them. Nicholas Rowe from Western Australia has made his way up to fifth place. He's putting in a great performance spin. We've got a spin oh! and big contact. Oh, he had nowhere Alfie. to go. Alfie Quartanino has glided. I think it is with Stewie Yates in the 32 car. Grant, Bright, Avedisian, Pickens. Green lights are on, we're back underway. The Australian Speed Car Championship. Around the cone they come. That's the first obstacle. They got past that. Where is Nicholas Rowe? He's in fifth place. Caden, Man uh, Caden Brown is in the yellow car in sixth position behind these lead four cars. Justin Grant leads with oh! nine to go. There's our big for a rollover, our first of the night. The first of the weekend, Robert Hurd in the nine, uh, the uh, 57 car has tumbled upside down and we've gone red for the first time this weekend. 30. 10 laps to go. Grant from Bright, from Avedisian, from Pickens, from Nick Rowe, around the cone. They've got to negotiate that first of all. They get past it and they move down into turn number one. Where is the first move coming from? The first move has come from Justin Grant. He has got away from Bright, from Avedisian as they come out of turn number three and four. Avedisian trying to get underneath of Bright for second and third. Pickens behind them and then Nick Rowe is in the fifth position nearly getting underneath of Michael Pickens as they move down the back straight. This is a battle for second and third we're just looking at. This time around there's eight laps to go. Grant leads from Bright and Avedisian. Amazing racing out the front from Justin Grant. We saw he had a fair bit of speed in the pole shuffle and he has lightning speed in this one. But the battle for the final two spots on the podium well and truly on between Alex Bright, Jade Avedisian and Michael Pickens. Pickens is trying to put pressure on Avedisian up ahead. Is it going to be two cars from Dyson Motorsports on the podium or two cars from Graham Jones Racing that are going to be on the podium? Six laps remain in the Mobile One Australian Speed Car title. Well, what we do know is Justin 
the ground is shot clear. He is uh, well in front, as you can see. The wide shot there. We're back into the close shot now. And it is Alex Bright holding on. Jade Abedizian. And Jade Abedizian goes through. And now Michael Pickens is going through as well. He's used for Bright. Bright flat maybe tire. is going out of the race as well. As he loses speed as he gets a flat tyre. Caden Brown goes past into fourth place. And now we've got a scenario teammates. Justin Grant, Jade Abedizian into the main straight they come and the New Zealander Michael Pickens is third. So four laps to go. Will we get a yellow here? We might get a yellow because he can't get off the racetrack and there's cars trying to get through down the back straight. We have gone yellow. We've gone yellow with four to go and a flat tyre has taken out car number four on our start list. He's from 27th. The emergency, the first reserve racing again with four to go in the Australian title and it's the 299s for one and two Grant and Abedizian Pickens in third place back to Caden Brown in fourth and then Nick Rowe that's the first five and Matt Jackson's not done with yet they come out of turn number four three to go in the Australian championship and it's st still Justin Grant Abedizian in second place Pickens third then back to Brown Rowe in fifth as they run down the back straight here's Michael Pickens so going to get into second place or will it be Jade Abedizian? They come out at turn four. There are two laps to go in the Australian Championship. Justin Grant is a kilometre away from taking out the Australian title. Who will be second on the podium? It is still Jade Abedizian who holds on for the moment from Michael Pickens. But your race leader out of Mobile One, turn number four. White lights are on and the Australian champion about to be crowned. Justin Grant has been absolutely stupid Pendus all weekend. He's going down the back straight. He swings out of two at three and four. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the 82nd Australian Speed Car title is Justin Grant from Jade Abedizian. Michael Pickens gets third. Then Caden Brown and Nicholas Rowe in fifth spot. Back then to Matt Jackson from 24th to 6th. Keenan Fleming finishes seventh. Bo Doyle in eighth. Tyson Bright in ninth. And Aaron Sharp finishes in tenth. But ladies and gentlemen well that's 40 laps run and done we uh came through from i think we started 21st or something and um yeah came through and got eighth we, we got up to i think fifth at one point but halfway through the race i lost my brakes and like i had no pedal at all i'd push it push the brake pedal and it just go straight to the engine plate so it was a bit hard trying to stop the car and keep it on the low line with no brakes but you know from last night where we thought our season was over again to running eighth tonight and being the number eight in Australia. Like, it, was, it was pretty cool. It was pretty awesome. It's my first feature race that I've started and finished since uh, November at Albany. So, yeah, from last night where we had a massive low to tonight, running eighth in the feature, you can't ask for much more. So I'm happy we finished. It would have been pretty cool if I didn't make a few mis I made a few mistakes, but, you know, it was a long race and, um, yeah, I... I'm probably going to kick myself because of the few mistakes I did make, but, you know, got to learn from those mistakes and move forwards to the state title next weekend. So, yeah, the car's straight. I'm happy with how the car was set up. I'm happy with the engine speed. We're looking good. So, yeah, feeling really confident going to the state title next weekend.